My name is Dorte Kubel. I'm a regulatory affairs manager at MAN Energy Solutions. I'm going to talk about the EEXI regulation. It is a new regulation from IMO, the International Maritime Organization. The EEXI is a technical regulation. It is a one-time certification based on the ship's design. The purpose of the EEXI is to reduce the CO2 emissions from ships. It is one measure out of a basket of measures to implement IMO's greenhouse gas strategy. Another measure from IMO to reduce the CO2 emissions from ships is the Carbon Intensity Indicator, CII. The CII regulates the operational or real-life CO2 emission from ships. It is based on the annual fuel oil consumption and from 1st January 2023, all ships will have to report their CII each year based on its actual fuel oil consumption. The EEXI is mainly governed by three factors. The power of the main engine, the reference speed of the ship and the fuel oil consumption from testbed. If a ship does not comply with the EEXI, technical modifications will be needed to improve the ship's EEXI. For most ships, limitation of the power of the main engine will be the most straightforward way to comply with the EEXI. Verification will typically be performed by a classification society acting on behalf of the ship's flag state. The basis of verification with the EEXI regulation is the EEXI technical file, which will have to be prepared for each ship. Some ships may have an EEDI technical file documenting compliance with the EEXI requirements. Those ships will not need an EEXI technical file. In case a ship does not comply with the EEXI, there is a risk that it will be detained in port. It may also risk a fine.